Well, uh, hello. So today I'm gonna show you this uh, Technics uh, five disc CD player. Uh, so I got it today. Someone uh, gave it to me because uh, they had a sound system that uh, they didn't need anymore. Uh, so they also had a, a receiver here with uh, the speakers. This one, this one, and uh, this one. So uh, these are the, the sound system uh, speakers. And uh, well, uh, this this column, uh, it's mine. Uh, I already had it. It's, it is just uh, stored there uh, at the moment. So I'll show you the uh, the front of the Technics CD player. Then after I will uh, show you the inside. So this is probably from the the mid nineties. So the model number is SLPD665. And uh, well, uh, this CD player, uh, maybe I'll keep it or I'll try to sell it because I already have a Kenwood CD player here, 5-disc five, five uh, CD player. And I also have a, another Kenwood CD player, it's behind there. So uh, after, uh, in this video, I will uh, compare this Kenwood uh, CD player with uh, this one, like uh, comparing the mechanism. So I'm going to test the CD player now. There were already uh, two CDs in it, and uh, I'm going to play the the Super Mario All Stars soundtrack CD. This. So right now the the Technic CD player is plugged to the the stereo uh, receiver. So I'm going to press open close and. Uh, I will insert the Super Mario CD. From the game, uh, in, it is included in the game Super Mario All Stars for Wii. So you might not hear the music well because there is only one speaker plugged at the moment. So uh, the like uh, you will not hear uh, all the sound. You will uh, hear uh, only the the right or the left uh, soundtrack because uh, there is uh, only one side plug. You can fast forward like this, like on all CD players. So like on uh, most CD players, uh, so like on all 5CD uh, uh, changer, you can uh, open the, the disc uh, drawer while there is a, a CD play, uh, playing inside. So right now I'm going to open the CD player so you can see the mechanism. Uh, well just before I show the, f the inside of the CD player, I show the back side. So there is the information written, the, the model number and uh, all that. and. Uh, well, there was a, a like the power cord. Uh, you plug it there, and uh, the power cord that uh, came with it uh, is very short. Uh, and uh, so this is the, C, the 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 outputs, the audio outputs. And uh, so here there is the date written uh, on the sticker, February 1998. I don't know if you can really see. So now I'll open the, the CD player. So now the CD player is open and uh, you can see the inside. 
and uh, well one of the screws that uh, hold the top cover didn't want to come out so I had to use a, a tool to remove it to unscrew the, the, the screw so uh, this is very annoying when uh, uh, when this happens that a screw doesn't want to come out so uh, well uh, we've got it removed but uh, yeah this is uh, quite annoying so uh, now we can see the mechanism in action where this is pretty interesting Now I will uh, play the disc 2, the Mario soundtrack CD. Now it's playing, and now uh, we can open the, the drawer while the CD is playing. And uh, we can see that uh, the motor that opens the drawer is here. It is driving a belt and a pulley. And there, uh, we can see there are a few, there are a few uh, like uh, cam gears that are driving the ma the mechanism that opens the drawer. And uh, here we can see uh, like a uh, part of the gear that. Uh, that uh, moves the that drives the the rotating plate. So there, there is a power supply. Like on a, it is, it is made uh, like uh, on all, uh, like on all CD players. Like uh, there is a transformer uh, like this. And so yeah, the, these mechanisms, uh, I find them pretty interesting. So now I'm going to get my Kenwood CD player uh, to compare the mechanism. So now I've got my Kenwood five disc CD player. So uh, I will show you the front from close. So uh, the model number is a CD203. Uh, this uh, this uh, CD this uh, CD player I uh, bought it at Value Village uh, five years ago. Uh, so uh, now uh, it is open, and uh, well, uh, we are going to we are going to compare the mechanism. So uh, I'm going to take the Mario CD. So uh, I'm going to play it. So uh, on this CD changer, the motor that opens the drawer is located here. And uh, like the other CD player, it, uh, it is driving a belt. And uh, like uh, most uh, CD player mechanisms uh, have a motor with a belt like this. So it is uh, quite similar, but it, uh, it is actually different. So uh, this is like VCRs. There, uh, there are, there exist uh, many different uh, mechanisms for CD changers. You can see the motor is not at the same place. And uh, on this one, you can see a part of the motor here. 
it is driving a warm gear like this and then a gear that is driving the ro the rotating plate so uh, yeah the motor you can see it is it's there And also, uh, there is a, a, a difference that I noticed with uh, these two CD changers. Is uh, here the buttons, uh, like it is a like a regular pushing button, but uh, this one it is a button that uh, can be uh, like uh, pushed or not pushed. Lo. I don't know how to uh, explain it, but you you can see it lo, how it works. Like uh, you you can see there is uh, two positions, and this one is just a normal uh, pushing button. And uh, the two CD players, they have a, a sensor like this. So this is the sensor that uh, detects the the position of the the rotating plate, so the position of the, the CD. So here you can see the it uh, detects the number of uh, holes that uh, that are there. So you can see here for the disc two there are two holes, and here for the disc uh, five there are five holes. So uh, it uh, detects the position of the of the drawer that way. This one uh, has all. Uh, this one uh, has uh, holes too. All right, it's off. So yeah, now now the, that's pretty much it for the presentation of the, the CD player. So uh, goodbye.